Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-b
15,618 people were granted asylum, plus nearly 5,000 Syrians under a vulnerable persons scheme. So, it shows that people who are coming to this country are coming from countries, you know, which are war-torn, Eritrea, Sudan, uh, problems with it in Iraq, Iran, Syria. Those are the main countries where people claim asylum. Do you think public services such as NHS, housing or schools have been put under considerably more pressure due to increase of migration? Right. Um, 60 million people live in the UK, at least. And if you have 30,000 people, it sounds a lot of people, but 30,000, you know, it, it, twice that number goes to watch Manchester United at a home match. So it's, it's not a lot of people, 30,000, in comparison to the whole population of the UK. Um, obviously, the way that asylum seekers are dispersed around the UK um, can put some pressures on schools and hospitals and so on. But there are some situations, like Theresa May's own constituency, I believe she has about six asylum seekers living there. Rochdale has over a thousand. You know, there are big differences in the way people, asylum seekers are dispersed, which is government policy, uh, is unfair, and that puts the pressure. Looking at it, if you turn the coin the other way around, the NHS, the education, is reliant on asylum seekers. How many nurses from you know, Zimbabwe are working in, in the NHS. And um, people, you know, the NHS is dependent upon people from abroad. How do the media portray asylum seekers and refugees in the United Kingdom? Well, there's been quite a lot of research on this. And a very small percent, like 6% of articles about refugees and asylum seekers are positive. So, in the main, the media portrays asylum seekers in very negative ways, quite often as, um, you know, and, and quite incorrectly, you know, as terrorists or as uh, people who use resources which they're not entitled to. Um, you know, uh, asylum seekers are not allowed to work, so you can't criticise them for not for claiming benefits, um, but they can be criticised whether they work and whether they don't work. So whether they're working illegally, they can be criticised. If they don't work, they'll be criticised. So the media often portrays these in very negative ways. Okay. How is the Brexit likely to affect your refugee refugee situation in the UK? Well, already, um, you know, with Brexit, many there's a big shortage of nurses in the UK and consultants. Um, these are mainly from the European countries, people, you know, people from Spain and so on, uh, not unsure of their future in this country because of Brexit, and have returned and there's now a, a huge shortage. In the past, we've had to look further afield for um, um, consultants, nurses and uh, NHS staff, and you know, many people come from India, from Africa, African countries, uh, to work in, in the NHS. Um, it's just a fact that we need we need people with skills to, to do that and we should welcome them. Thank you very much for this interview. Mr. Okay. Tom. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.